Okay, so that's six cases of Albarino, 12 of the Neuf de Pop. The next time I'm in Reims, I'm sending you a box of those chocolates. And how is Mr. Corroa faring, Miss Shaw? Any sign of the threat? In four hours, Tomas has barely gone 900 feet. He just keeps moving from one restaurant to the next, blabbing about wine. The only thing keeping me awake is his... personality. Indeed. Hang on a sec. It's the girl who checked him out this morning. Tomas may have a tail. Same workman from this morning, too. That's not a tail. We're looking at some kind of a hit squad. On second thought, this may not be that kind of hit. Three, two, one. Looks like we're not the only ones leading double lives, Finch. Moss isn't a wine dealer, he's a thief. And a damn good one. In and out in under 10 seconds. A perfect smash and grab. Our boy Tomas really knows what he's doing. Perhaps you could try not to sound quite so enthused. Crime is my day job. I'm, I'm just admiring his technique. Domain awareness caught the robbery, but no camera saw Tomas and his crew getting into the car, which was reported stolen two days ago. So the cops haven't ID'd him yet? I'm fairly certain that the NYPD isn't the only agency trying to find them. Their modus operandi matches that of a highly successful team of thieves that the Interpol has dubbed the Hole in the Wall Gang, for obvious reasons. In the past seven years, Tomas and his team have hit over 50 high-value targets on four continents. Mm, so Tomas is a real bad boy. Which means that he is probably our perpetrator. A guy like this might be willing to kill to take down his next score. Or our target might be someone who already knows Tomas's secrets. Marco Yevtich was the only member of Tomas's crew to ever get caught. Picked up by the police after a robbery in Prague, 10 hours later, he died in custody under suspicious circumstances. So maybe Tomas isn't above pumping off one of his own. Well, they're not the most trustworthy bunch. Max Dahlgren and Hendrik Langfelder, who both had well-documented issues with authority. And Katya Brachenko has a long history of drug abuse. It appears that we have inadvertently captured a group of notorious criminals. Should we turn them over to Interpol and call it a day? We're here to stop violence, okay? Not recover stolen jewels. If we move before we know what Tomas is up to, then this whole thing could go sideways and we'll miss our chance to stop it. But she won't get a look at him anymore. Are you trying to make me kill you? Let's try to stay focused on the murder that Mr. Kuroa is poised to commit. To uncover his plans, we would need to have a man on the inside, or in this case, a woman. Guess what, Sha? Tomas has a problem. And you're the solution. I'll reach out to my criminal contacts and set up a meeting. No, 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 there's nothing to worry about. We are going to make this happen. Trust me, this will be nothing short of a revolution. With the governor and his people on board, we have the power... I'm in. I've got him on the baby I'm monitor, the and you should have signal now, Harold. I take it you had no trouble ingratiating yourself with Mr. Wilkins and his son. Oh, Sebastian's an angel. Just a little free spirit who needs his creativity nurtured. His dad, on the other hand, is a little more type A. And when OTPS starts generating results, you're going to want to be on board. Any luck finding out what his fraudulent charity is really up to? Patience, Harold. I'll have to give you a timeout. We are ready to go right now. Okay, we're in. A computer to call their own, loaded with educational software. Software provided by Samaritan. Tablet in every home and a camera pointed at the face of every child. While Samaritan controls everything they see, learn, think. Speak of the devil. Something just started hacking my phone. Samaritan, it's coming through Wilkins' computer. Get out of there now. Veronique, I'm off the phone. How are you and Sebastian getting it? Daddy! 